Okay folks, this is going to be a quick tutorial about how to convert your Lightroom presets into LUT cube files to be stored on the Panasonic Lumix cameras. It's a lengthy process and a little complicated, so I will just screen record and this is the best way to show you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download a program called LUT Generator. You can see here at the top it says IWLTBAP LUT Generator. This is what you're looking for. Sacks on the left here, generate a hold file. That's just going to be a colored file that you've already generated up here. This is the file you're going to import into Lightroom. And then we're going to come back to this later on to convert our file over. So if we go into Lightroom, this is the image you're going to bring into Lightroom. When it comes in, it's going to look like this, just all the color tones on it. This is the file that we're going to apply our preset to. But if I go down now and just apply this preset that I've created, that won't work because that's going to copy over camera profiles and things like that and sharpening and detail and you don't want any of that copied. So what you want to do is the best way I found to do this is open a photo of any kind. So say, open these photos, okay? So let's pick a photo. Let's reset the raw file. So this is we're starting with a basic raw file. And on this photo, add your preset. So let's go cyan film grid. Now, what you want to do now is copy this preset. But you need to uncheck some of the boxes. So when you first hit your copy panel, you're probably going to have all these checked. What I tend to do is uncheck treatment profile. You can copy some of the exposure things. So if you've upped the shadows or highlights or vibrance a little more, you can select whatever one of these you've changed. But do not select texture, clarity, or dehaze. Anything that changes the structure or grain or anything in the image, you don't want to do that because it's going to mess about with an in-camera JPEG later on. So realistically, and you want to make sure you uncheck treatment profile, that's essential. And you want to uncheck ca camera calibration. If you leave those checked, when you try and copy this file into the camera, it plays havoc with the shadows and highlights and it all goes muddy and it, it just absolutely destroys the image. It does not work. So my advice is stick to the basics, change your HSL slider, Color grading can be done, and the tone curves, including the RGB channels, they can all be copied okay. So you're gonna copy these settings. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna open our hold file. We're gonna go into develop module, and we're gonna copy that color grade. Sorry, excuse me. We're gonna paste that color grade onto the hold file. That's our grid added. You'll see there if we go down through, there's no basic settings, there's no sharpening, no noise reduction, nothing copied across. Just our HSL sliders. And that's essentially is where your preset's created. Changing the color tones, etc. So from here, we're gonna export this image. Export the image. I just have it under LUT test here. So we'll export, use unique name. Now, when we go into our file there, you will see here is our LUT file. So that has now got our Lightroom preset color grading added to this file. Open our LUT generator again. Convert the cube this time. And we're gonna go find our file. Select that file and open. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Let's just get it in this other location here. So you're going to find the same file. Uh, 
that's okay. We'll use that one. So we're gonna convert the cube. We're gonna go find our file. see here it'll take a few seconds and it'll come up conversion is done now if we close that generator we'll see here this is a cube file here is created so this is your hull file and it will create a dot cube file that's what you need to save into the camera but if we try and copy this file now to our SD card it still doesn't work great because LUT generator creates a 64-bit file I think it was on one of the Lumix Live streams that said it had to be a 33-bit file well it would work better with a 33-bit file so what you want to do now is go to Google and in Google we are going to open a program called Color IO LUT Preview in this file well, we get this display so it's going to show you a sample image it's going to show you another hull file and this is actually a good place to check your lot as well to make sure there's nothing weird going to happen with it so we'll add lot you make sure you add the cube file now we go you can see different things have changed in the image the greens are toned down exactly how i had them the shadows here look okay there's a good place to look here if there's any degradation or anything falling apart any of these black tones here so we're all looking good. Select format. We're going to select cube generic. And this is the important step. This is the last step. Change from 64 to 33. And export your lot. It's going to go into your download category. Now if we close it down and we now go into our files. Into downloads. This cube file here. What I normally do at this point is right click, rename it. Rename it maybe the same name as a preset. So let's go Cyan Film. And make sure the dot cube designation stays on the end. That is your cube file created. That lot will work perfectly inside the Lumix camera. You literally right click it, copy it paste it into the SD card, put the SD card in the camera and go to LUT library and load LUT. And that LUT named Cyan Film will be in there and will work perfectly in camera. Hope this helps folks. Like and subscribe. I'm going to be a, hopefully a lot more Lumix co uh, content in the channel. So I'm very new to the system and it's a big learning curve. But uh, definitely like and subscribe and follow for more folks. Thank you.